So Adele had a little something that she wanted to do before we head back across the Midwest and she wanted to play on her favorite playground. So, so boom baby, here we are. We're at your favorite uh, park in the city of Fort Collins again. We're just passing through, but we're going to take a little break, walk the dog, and let Adele play on her favorite playground. So I'm out walking around to see if we can have a better spot with internet. We are just down this little hill here and there isn't any internet. And I thought there was maybe one spot. Uh, <laughs> I pulled into my spot down there and there was somebody else down there at a picnic pavilion. And I saw them like throwing rocks and, you know, acting concerned and stuff. And uh, come to find out, they were walking back to their vehicle by the, and there was a, a rattlesnake in the trail. And the guy said, I'm out. <laughs> and he picked up and they left. 
<laughs> I was like, <clears throat> he said it was the biggest one he's walked up on ever. Well, we're still here. I'm in the middle of the road. I can watch for snakes. I know they come out in the evening, but I just thought that was funny. He's just like, oh, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> so, I have internet up here, but I, I'm not sure how to get to the spot down there. So, we may just stay where we're at. Since it is just for one night, we are back in our Flagler, Colorado, where we almost started our trip. And, uh, we're beating feet across, across uh, the plains and then in the Midwest soon. Yeah, that was crazy. That was so big. Back in the Midwest, made it back to humidity, bugs, and ticks, and poison ivy. No, seriously though, we got, uh, I gotta clean up the van. Back at my home base here, and uh, the van is a disaster. I need to wash the outside, I'm shot back in the inside. Got the pets out, and uh, gonna clean, clean her up. And uh, I'm only gonna be here for a short time, do some work, get the oil changed. Uh, and a few other things and then you know we got our trip planned for uh, uh, the winter. All right so we are done with step one washing the giant white whale and next I'm going to use this black plastic restore on my plastic. You can see it's really gray and faded and I've used it on there before and it lasts for quite a while. Uh, the only bad thing is if you are on a gravel road it sticks, the dirt sticks to it right away. But that's my next step is to do the plastic restore on it. All right, I got the black plastic restore on it all the way around, including the front bumper, tires. Sorry, the tires are still pretty muddy and stuff and I need to scrub them individually, but uh, looking a lot better. Yep. All right, so we are on the next day and continuing with our fixing of the van and stuff. And uh, I'm up here on the roof and we have a leak here. This is my vent fan and one night after a big rain I went to go to bed and I had a big wet spot on my bed. I thought somebody peed but it was just my vent fan leaking from the rain and I can see obviously why. Nice big gap there. Um, this is the second time someone else has fixed it for me. And, uh, sorry, my allergies are terrible here in the Midwest. It's the fall. So I've had somebody else try to fix it twice, and it was like they did nothing. So I figured, what the heck, I'm not going to, can't possibly make it worse. So I was recommended this flex glue stuff as seen on TV kind of thing. And uh, it was recommended, and uh, it does say for RVs, 
So, uh, super strong, waterproof, rubberized, bonds instantly, blah, 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 you know, repairs and seals everything. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see how it does and see if I can uh, fix fix where this water is, is getting in there. Sorry. Right in there along that crack. It doesn't look like it's pulled up from the metal, but... Um, Right here along the plastic it did. And while I'm up here, I kind of look at my solar panels, dust them off and stuff. I did that not too long ago. They look pretty good. A little bit of dust on them, but uh, they look good. And they've been still working great. All right, here's how it's looking so far. I actually thought it was going to be black. It's white, but um, I'm just trying to make it look halfway neat squeezing it out of the tube. All right, so I got it all done and uh, I got it sealed and as neat as I can. And it doesn't really like come up here, but there was a crack in between that layer and I uh, just went around and got any crack that I can see. And like I said, I'll just come up and check on it later and watch for water. And, and I still got gobs left in the tube, so I'll plug this and save it just in case I didn't do it good enough. But it should be, hopefully. It looks good. We'll see if it, if it pulls away or anything like the other stuff has. Mm -hmm. 